Hi, this is Jamie Ditsworth with Inventor Topics. Today we're going to talk about the favorite new sketch features in Inventor 2013. One of the first ones is starting a new sketch. Uh, you don't have to select the edge or go into the origin. You can actually select the face of an origin plane to start your sketch. Another new feature is when you draw your uh, first sketch, you basically, if you don't put dimensions on your first sketch, and then put a general dimension on here, it will actually scale the whole sketch to this first dimension. Very nice uh, little enhancement that they made there. Another one is of course the most favorited topic of all time uh, the center point rectangle they've added two one is a standard uh, center point rectangle where you can actually input the dimensions as you're creating the rectangle um, something that's been wanted for a very very long time another one of a center point rectangle is the center point aligned rectangle or angled rectangle if you want to call it that um, you can put in a dimension for the angle of the uh, rectangle and then also put in the size of the rectangle so then your rectangle is actually fully constrained when you create it another very nice enhancement uh, that will be used very common. Another is uh, when you draw an arc you can actually dimension the arc length um, and it will assign the dimension to whatever the arc length is you input. Another uh, sketch enhancement is to do with a fully constrained sketch, how it gets displayed in the browser area. Here we are starting a sketch, uh, and if you notice down at the bottom it says it needs so many constraints, and in the browser it also says it doesn't show any kind of a different sketch than what you're used to. But if you put in enough of the dimensions to uh, make the sketch fully constrained. I'm thinking one more here, there we go. And hit OK. Now if you look down at the bottom it says fully constrained and in the browser the sketch symbol has actually changed to it shows a little push pin. That would be the display of the fully constrained sketch. The next one has to do with the new icons down at the bottom. The first one is a snap to grid. The second one is a show all constraints and when you click on that it changes to a hide all constraints. The next one is a dimension display. If you click on the arrow it gives you different variables that you can pop up for your dimension display. The next one is a slice all graphics, and the next one is show all degrees of freedom. Like the other one, if you click on it, then you can it will show hide all degrees of freedom. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and this is InventorTopics.blogspot.com. Thank you.